I think that there's something very real about the experience of studying art here at UNM. Ceramics, sculpture, drawing, painting. I learned some of those basic skills, but more fundamentally, it was where I learned how to think like an artist. Um, I feel like UNM is unique in that um, it's not trying to reproduce an art world bubble where artists are just talking to themselves, but rather that we are trying to engage and make sense of the world in which we live. My advice for students who are thinking about an arts education is number one, uh, it's never too late. Number two, artists are made, not born. And you need to think about building the skills that uh, are necessary to succeeding as an artist that go beyond technical proficiency or even having really good ideas. Uh, one of the really important things that I've found is that it's about having relationships. So building relationships to people in the art world, curators, gallery directors, but also your own professors. They're actually the closest link that you have uh, to the art world as you're studying it. What I got from going to UNM was very practically speaking, a high quality, affordable education. Um, one of the reasons that I think that I've been able to be successful as an artist after graduation is that I didn't leave with a mountain of student debt. <laughs> there is tremendous freedom in uh, coming out of school without having debt. Uh, I, it was what allowed me to continue working in my studio after graduation. The current project that I have been working on for about three years, which actually started as my honors thesis project for my BFA, is very much about connecting to here and now. And so the connection to this place actually comes from digging clay from a place that's only 60 miles from this campus and using methods um, and techniques that track very closely with the techniques that have been used in this landscape for thousands of years. And now is about recognizing the plastic two liter bottle as the most ubiquitous vessel of our time. There are a lot of things that I got from UNM that I couldn't have gotten other places. And some of them are very specific. I traveled around the Southwest and Northern Mexico with Land Arts of the American West for six weeks. That was an experience that is foundational to the work that I am doing now. So uh, we were down at the U.S.-Mexico border in Southern Arizona to think uh, as artists about the border itself as this massive human intervention in the landscape. And while we were there, one of the major things that I found were plastic two liter bottles that people had left behind as they were passing through. And in that same vicinity, it was possible to find potsherds, remnants of ancient artifacts. The project in some ways was about collapsing the whole history of vessel making into a single object and by implication, connecting myself to the people who had traveled through this landscape thousands of years ago. Yeah, it's very exciting to, um, such a short time after graduation, have a major solo exhibition at the National Museum of Women in the Arts in Washington, D.C. Um, I was just there a few weeks ago and to see my name and an image of my piece on this huge banner on the side of a building in downtown Washington DC was just incredible and it certainly is not something that I ever expected when I started this journey seven years ago. Something I always say about my work is that um, even though I work with a plastic bottle that it is not a recycling awareness campaign. Um, that it is actually about my attempt to find the redemption, the evidence of human creativity in that object, and to connect it to a place in time where we saw ourselves as something more than simply opponents of nature. 
So in trying to connect these old methods with um, this contemporary piece of trash, essentially, um, I'm actually trying to transform our view of that object and therefore of ourselves. So one of the things that I would say to parents of uh, students who are considering studying the arts is that while the arts are undervalued in this society, it's one of the most important things that your child can do. Artists are people who make visible aspects of culture that we would not otherwise be able to see. They show us who we are as a society and you might argue that there's nothing more important than that.